The client I'm meeting with today is Jack Rogers. He is a 19-year-old Caucasian male. Jack currently lives with his mother in Evansville on Fairs Avenue, which is in a low-income area. Jack um, does not know his biological father. Um, his mother has not been biological father since Jack was born. Um, Jack has three half-siblings who all live in Indianapolis. Jack and his mother used to live in Indianapolis with the half-siblings, but around the age of seven, Jack's mother met another man who um, became very close with Jack and his mother and wanted to legally adopt Jack. So Jack and his mother left Indianapolis and moved to Evansville to be with this man. Um, this man left Jack and his mother when Jack was around the age of 12. Um, currently, his mother, she has two full-time jobs, and she is on food stamps. Um, Jack has never had a serious relationship. He does have a close friend group who feel as though they are family to him. Um, his mother is the only uh, family in the area. I spoke with Jack's mother, who seems to be at a loss of what is going on with her son. Um, Jack uh, his education history, he used to attend school in the Indianapolis public school system, but since then he has attended Evansville um, school system, but ever starting in high school at the age of 15, he began skipping out on classes, um, and Jack, and he dropped out eventually his junior year. Jack is currently not attending college. Um, Jack, he doesn't have a job either. Um, his mother actually disclosed to me with, with me today that Jack would obtain money by selling prescription drugs on the side. Um, Jack has a history of aggressive behavior, fights in school, and defiant behavior with authority. Jack began participating in illegal activities around the age of 15. Um, his illegal activities include substance abuse um, with alcohol, PCP, marijuana, and prescription drugs. Um, Jack's reason for seeing me here today is court-appointed substance abuse therapy. He's been in the juvenile system ever since he was 12 years old, and the reasons for that would be due to uh, possession, possession of illegal substance and selling prescription drugs for money. Since Jack's mother is refusing to keep Jack in the home due to his illegal um, substances and his aggressive behavior, Jack is living in an inpatient drug treatment facility. Jack and I will be having his first session today, so I will um, talk with him about how it's going in the facility.